Hey everybody, uh, hope everybody's well. Um, just wanted to post a quick video about this awesome stuff you see in front of me here. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know, which I didn't know a while ago until I actually Googled, I needed something awesome that would work with my my projects, my my uh, art projects and electronic projects and stuff. But this is polymorph plastic, little uh, little beads um, that you melt down in water, and you can form whatever shape you need and <clears throat> it hardens pretty quickly and uh, just becomes whatever you want to mold it to if you need to uh, mold quick off-the-cuff parts for things or just I use it sometimes to make little um, adapters or little um, uh, I don't know like things that I need to screw into and to hold in place but uh, if you do know about it, then you know that it is awesome and awesome stuff to work with. But I also wanted to share with you, I wanted to figure out how to actually color it without having to paint it. You know, you can buy some art paint or stuff that would adhere to plastic. But if I found out a different way uh, to do that um, after a careful thought or a little bit of thought, no. I'll show you in just a second what I mean. So here I'm at my stove just boiling some water to melt down uh, the poly plastic. Uh, you don't really need to boil it, you can actually heat some water in the microwave, but this is how I like to do it. I'm about to pour some in. It melts pretty quickly. As you can see it's getting clear. When it's less opaque you know it's working. So here it is just out of the water here. I ran it under a uh, cold water for a few seconds here to cool it down so here's some black dye actually I brought bought some Joanne's art supply or art, uh, Joanne's fabrics rather and uh, I, I, I thought about this and here's a cool way to actually dye this this is actually black the color black but I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in and you don't need to do a lot just like you know about that much So as you can see, I'm just starting to knead it a little bit here. Or uh, I'm gonna add some more here. And I, I sh as you can tell, it's actually turning black and it's just adhering to the plastic. I'm gonna add a little more actually. And uh, it's kind of hard to do it with just one hand. I usually like to do two hands, but since I'm filming, um, I just have to do it with one hand. Obvi obviously wear gloves, because this this will mess up your hands big time um, but as you can tell the dye is adhering to the plastic pretty good here and what I did before is I actually kneaded it until it got uh, pretty pretty good and dark black and I ran it under water to get the rest excess uh, color out and the cool thing about it is is you can actually reboil the water and form this and mold it into what, whatever you want. Obviously, the more you uh, boil it and melt it, uh, the more uh, weaker the dye gets, but it's still pretty strong, so always wear gloves. But as you can tell, look how pretty, look how good that is. And um, you can use this awesome magical material for so many projects here. Uh, you can mold things around, you can hold things in place, you can actually make parts, makeshift parts for things um, with this awesome material. <clears throat> so apparently I, uh, I had a hole in my glove, the tip of the thumb, so as you can tell I've got a black thumb now. That's how strong that die is that's gonna probably be on my thumb for like a good couple of weeks I think oh well whatever anyway I uh, wanted to show you what um, I want you can do with this stuff uh, I need a little LED light uh, for my project um, and um, I didn't want all this white 
uh, in there. It was just too bright and I also needed a way to actually hold this LED in um, to a wood piece and it didn't have to be really professional looking actually I was going for a rough look but as you can tell out of the molded die I made this this piece here and uh, it's pretty hard and it's gonna just kind of hold the I'll pop it in here it's gonna just hold the uh, the LED in and um, like that like that and uh, as you can tell it's a, it's a nice color there's a few little like white specks on it but it's not completely perfect but if I was going for perfect you know I would spend more time but I didn't need this project to be perfect I just wanted to kind of look cool and to kind of hold it in I mean that's the look I was going for but I just didn't want the white to show up so much the, the light is fine but I didn't want the, the body of the light to show up so much but as you can see this stuff is amazing it's just it's hard plastic you can boil down and mold and form things to make a make a creative parts for your projects anyway I just wanted to shout out uh, to the company that makes this and I'll put I'll put the link up so you guys uh, if you're interested and need this awesome stuff for your projects you can definitely hit them up and give them business anyway thanks for watching